Okay guys, welcome to the awesome game that is Empire Total War, one of my favourite Total War games, and this is an online multiplayer battle. And I forget my opponent's name, I'll remember at the end, and my name is Deadly Redcoat. Today I'm playing a spade. Alright, so let's take a look at my units. Alright, so over here I have cavalry. These are carabiners, 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 if you want to call them that. I've got three units of those and uh, one unit of this regiment of horse. I think I have four units of militia, which are these guys. Yeah, the other two are down here. I have four units of these snipers, Cazadors. <laughs> they have good range. I have uh, this elite infantry unit, Guardias de Infanteria. I can't even pronounce that properly. Yeah, by the way, I've got a cold today. Sorry if my voice sounds a little rough. And uh, I've got two units of these line infantry. And my general's bodyguard. And today I think I'm against Poland. So let's fast forward to the uh, beginning. Alright, so let's look at my opponent's army. Ulans. Yeah, that's like a sort of like Lancer style. Cavalry. Uh, winged Hussars. They're like the Poland's elite cav. They got wings, obviously. Hence the name. Uh, household Cavalry. Also very elite. Very hard to take down. Good heavy cavalry. Heavy, cav uh, heavy cavalry. <laughs> yeah, my nose being blocked isn't helping me pronounce anything today. Uh, so, yeah, he's got some grenadiers. Um, line infantry. More line, more line, more line, more line, and some riflemen over it. I know for a fact he has some more riflemen on the other side of the map. And down here we have some more wing tazars and some standard tazars. So overall, I think my opponent has five units of cap, and I have four. All right, and uh, his general, I believe, is in this. Wayne Tazar's uh, group back here. So, um, can't tell which one he'd be though. Alright, let's go take a look at what I'm doing. Whilst my opponent's standing there doing nothing, uh, I decided to march forwards and take up these positions as you can see highlighted in the green. Uh, let's have a look at my troops on the advance. So this is the terrain I've got to work with. So I've got a uh, sort of like a rolling hills countryside. This is a homestead map. It's got a lot of tactical sort of uh, terrains, advantages and stuff. But like I mean, like if you look down here, the best place to probably be is going to be in the central area, where you can take advantage of all the higher ground, get some shots down on some angles, you know. So as you can see, there's this one unit, one line of uh, green that's up here. This is where I'm going to set up some spikes. I'm going to set up some spikes down here to stop them from being able to come in through this flank. So as you can see, like with this hill, they can't cross this uh, barrier there of, of the rock. So I put one unit of cavalry, shoot a cav out there, and I'm uh, going to get this line of spikes here. So if they did want to come this way, they'd have to go all the way around there unless they wanted to lose some cav just to get into the back lines. And I'd have more and more than enough time to uh, to get there and sort out the problem. So basically what I'm trying to do is, uh, by putting down spikes and knowing that I've got these spikes down, I'm trying to buy myself time later. Alright. Put these, uh, I'm just trying to get this fast cab up the hill, you know, get them into places, just try and seize as much of this central ground as I, as I possibly can. So here's the spikes I was on about that I put down. So, that's the first lot. This unit here is the one which is going to do the uh, danger close spikes, as I'll call them. Well, the uh, closest ones to the opponents. I now decided to rush forwards these uh, two units over here so I can get these spikes down as, as fast as I could. I think I might actually even move them forwards even further. I should have done. I should have taken them all the way up here and put spikes along this. Uh, about like this line sort of here. 
I mean, like, this was good enough for me. I could see wherever my snipers could see uh, to the full range of their weapons. That's all I was bothered about. So I've got a unit of uh, cavalry up here to back these guys up, just in case there was a quick uh, enemy cav attack. This is how I knew there was a unit of rifles over this side, because there's uh, spikes down here. And uh, there's obviously that space there. So the rifles, what they've done is put the spikes down. This unit of rifles over here didn't remain hidden for some reason. But they're the ones who put the spikes down before, so... By my opponent putting the spikes down there, I knew he intended to stay there, so I thought, well, if I put these spikes down midway, now I can use these as a barrier. You'll see what my tactic is, that's why, you'll see why I put the spikes here. Because as soon as my opponent uh, basically set up his uh, line like that and looked like he wasn't going to move, I instinctively want to go around the sides. So, I looked at this mound, and uh, I thought to myself, that mound there... Uh, well, I can get some good shots off the uh, top of that into where he's all set up. And I can use this to go around. And there's spikes there. They're not going to mean anything if I can get my cover around there. And I can take cover behind this mound. Another thing to benefit from is this uh, sort of slope over here. As soon as I get these spikes down up here, I was pretty uh, feeling pretty confident I'd be able to hold that very well. So here's my elite infantry again. Spanish most elite line infantry of the late period. Pretty nice looking. I don't usually play as Spain. But in this game I am. Yeah, I woke up with a cold this morning and I just uh <laughs> It's kind of like making my throat feel sore and everything. It's kind of annoying when I want to make this commentary video today. I just played this battle this morning when I woke up and thought, oh, I'll save the replay and put it up later. Alright, so let's fast forward this until, uh, until we get to the action. So at this point, I hadn't figured out what I was going to do with this uh, mound there yet. But um, I had a plan in motion. So I have uh, this unit of line infantry coming over here to help out with the uh, plan of attack that I had set up in my mind. So like I said, I'm going to try to go around the flanks. And by doing that, I'm going to bring up... Uh, basically, when I have an attack, I want to use as many things at my disposal as I can. So I've got a unit that's good against whatever other kinds of different units there are. So I've got snipers for the range, which I'll send in first. Just like you could do with your whole army, send in like your snipers first and whatnot second. But that's the unit of winged hussars. Oh, it's not. Ulans. You know of Ulans up there. My guys are about to take some shots. See, I've got the range to shoot these guys from a distance, get their numbers down. I could tell by my opponent's like inability to move that he didn't seem to be uh, very skilled at this game. Or perhaps maybe a newer player. And he was trying to say like some weird stuff in the chat, like just to provoke me and whatever, but obviously it didn't work. He was calling me like a camper. Even though he's the one that was camping. <laughs> so. I know I've got this line infantry unit up here, and uh, something happened with those guys. I'm trying to get my snipers back this way. But we're being uh, attacked by this household cavalry, which is vastly superior to both those units in melee. So I'm trying to pull forward this uh, light line infantry uh, unit, and uh, pull these car carabiners back. Uh, keep them out of, keep them out of as much danger from their household cavalry as possible, so I could use them again, basically. So right now, again, hacked to fart. I was trying to form up my uh, carabiners, but they weren't, they just weren't having it. And my uh, line of is still shooting at these household cavalry men. 
So right now I lost one unit of Cazadors. Which is now retreating. And uh, yeah, my line infantry got all messed up. Started doing this stuff for some reason. I was thinking, why is it not shooting? If they didn't do that sort of stupid uh, whatever the hell that was, then uh, I would have saved this unit. <laughs> so my carabiners are losing right now. And these uh, household cavalrymen are obviously much uh, superior to what I've got. Alright, uh, there's my guys leaving. And I know this household cavalry is going to try and uh, get to my line infantry and cause as much damage as I can in here. So I've got my guys in a square formation. And we start killing off that household cavalry pretty easily. So easily, but <laughs> looks like they last in a while, right? This guy sort of lag off the horse a little bit. Oh, here we go, we're getting some kills on them now. Right, this is why I brought over my uh, shooter calf to come and uh, finish that job off. So they came out of nowhere and just shot through and killed all these other household cavalrymen. Got them on the retreat. So then at this stage, I decided to move the uh, carabiners that were down there up here. Because if the cavalry was going to come around and try and run around, I could take a shot off the top of here. Probably have enough time to reload and then go after them again and get another shot. So sometimes if you can use the terrain to your advantage like that, you can get the uh, most out of it. Make the most of your situation. Okay, in comes this uh, Wing Tazars unit. And uh, his household cavalry is in full retreat. And I've had my unit of Cazadors retreat. And there's some cavalry somewhere. It's probably long gone by now. But yeah, there, my guys are in retreat anyway. So my snipers are getting some shots right now onto these wing tazars. Got killed uh, three of them off. So that's uh, good enough for me. Those units cost a lot of money. He's going to go for the front all charge into this line of infantry. My guys have to reload. I'm going to get my guys in square formation right now. Alright, the last second. And I uh, pulled my cavalry back just in case these uh, Winter's eyes were going to go for them. I can't believe he was wasting these uh, powerful cavalry units like that. <laughs> to me, that's a waste. Uh, his Winter's Eyes unit's going to retreat. I don't know if he comes back, I can't remember. But now this is when I decide to push forward some militia. And uh, I, was thinking about, I was thinking about bigger plans now. To me, I won the skirmish. I've retreated uh, two of his cavalry units, possibly three, I can't remember actually right now. Maybe started off with five and he's got two left, so yeah, retreat three of them. And I've lost two units myself. And about 14 men from this line of infantry unit. So my militia's now coming to back up this line of infantry unit. And uh, I'm also extending the line of three of the units so that I could pull one of them out just to come and back up this other, other uh, unit. What I wanted to do is make sure I didn't lose this right hand side of this mound because if I used, lost this then uh, the enemy could possibly go up here and uh, sniper off of it across to uh, my mound. Depends, if I was this guy I would have uh, got all of my forces and just come around this way, walked over here, uh, come out around here 
and I'm just because I've that bar that barrier there. You know, I could just easily go around it and then come and attack from behind if I had to. Probably be the best option as well. Just depends how much time you're willing to put into the game and how much thought you're willing to put into like uh, what you want to do with your man. Personally, I don't want to see a single man of man die if I can help it. I want to keep them all alive for as the longest time that I can. That's probably why I win so many games. But I mean, I do see the times where you've got to, you know, sacrifice a lamb, as they say. And here's my militia unit. I'm using these to provoke the enemy. No, no, the enemy down there has got more range. I wanted to provoke him into uh, making some sort of a movement. I'm also bringing across some snipers. Uh, these Cazadors. Bringing them across this way, but then I'll be pulling them forwards to go and uh, start uh, sniping these guys again. My cavalry is also going to uh, come and set up behind this line of infantry. So, uh, what I'm doing to my advances and stuff is I'm giving them support from long range weapons, cavalry, and uh, strong infantry, and you know, people that I can use to just. Uh, Basically provoke people and use them as meat shields. You know, I've got like the whole setup there. To me, that's a good right flank. That's a good little setup. And I can use this hill from cover from behind, and I can face the other way. So if they do make a breakthrough with the cavalry again, they're going to get shot at from two lines instead of the one. But I am going to sacrifice that because I thought I can't be bothered waiting for him to come and uh, attack me. So what I'll do is I'll try and uh, make an attack myself. I tried to rush in these Cazadors, so I could make, perhaps get some sniper shots on that there, that there cavalry unit, but uh, he's, he's pulling it away, so... And then here come the uh, rifles, uh, light infantry, out of hiding. Oh, is it just light infantry he had? I thought he had a rifles unit, don't I? Oh, it looks like he's got two light infantry, oh no, one light infantry and one grenadiers. They look almost like the British. Well, that is what the British one should look like on this game. So they got blue on them. I don't like that British uniform with the blue on it. it looks better when it's just red and white. So right now what I'm trying to do is push my guys forwards. Organize them to some degree because these guys are really disorganized. Right now, these militia. <laughs> And I'm pushing forward to my attack. And this is perfect for me. This is why I like to attack from the flank. Because their units are going to turn around. And that means that these three men will be beyond that where that line is. So I'll have an advantage in range when I go to sniper on the side of their troops in a minute. You know, I'm going to get them from a couple angles here. It's going to start after peeling more and more men off to, to uh, engage the attack that I'm giving him. Once I see the opportunity of him moving his men away, this is when I'm going to push forward with my snipers and take a shot. So now I've got very good fire onto these guys. This light infantry is not going to last at all. Okay, so my militia is now opening up on these grenadiers. I thought that they were going to stop and throw some grenades at me. So what I did was just charge my militia. I was like, forget that. Let's get a fight on again. And what else? There's something else going on. I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, he's peeling off another unit. Unit of line infantry. So I push forward my snipers as well so I can get these flanking shots that I was on about. And push forward to my line infantry to the... I just want to take some ground and keep taking the ground. Keep applying the pressure. So what I'm gradually doing is uh, steamrolling this flank. Shot their captain out of that unit, I think. Oh no, I don't, he's still going. So all my units are engaged in melee. I decided to pull forward this cavalry unit to help that uh, militia unit at the back there. Obviously I want to avoid the spikes, so... Pushing forwards this militia unit onto the hill as well. As if, if you've noticed, I'm using basically my worst units right now. 
and I've still got my better units back there reserved. So alright, my militia's now retreating. Um, they're not going to come back from routing. And my carabiners are uh, taking on these grenadiers right now. And my uh, cavalry's losing and my line of infantry's losing. So what started off as a good uh, start of the attack, it got a bit sloppy and I lost uh, a few units there. So I decided to do is pull forwards a few more units, just what I thought I might need. Pull forwards my militia, what was left of it. <laughs> Have another good three units to use as uh, meat shields or whatever. This line of infantry has gone wild and they want to come and uh, hack apart this militia unit up here. So I'm trying to form up my militia right now so we can take some shots at this line of infantry. I don't think I'll make it in time. No. So these guys got a rear charge basically. They attacked at flank. And I have uh, two units charging around this flank as well. What I'm going to do is rearrange this militia unit to face the uh, a different direction. So I realize these guys are tired from all that running. And this is where I will start to take a hold over this uh, game. So yeah, his line infantry over uh, over here is now retreating and getting hacked to pieces. As you can see, we're killing those guys. And then uh, I, I charged my militia downhill onto these guys and I'm now going to get a flanking attack with my regiment of horse, which is my uh, strongest cavalry unit that I had around. I saw the opportunity here to pull these guys into the fight and uh, basically kill as many of those guys as I can. It's good when they get, attack get an attack on the flank as well. So these uh, Polish troops could not uh, withstand that cavalry attack. So they're now trying to uh, retreat. So right now I hold the right flank. To me this whole game was about the right flank. I mean this whole left side, it would have been if they tried to come up here it would have been fine. The troops I left up here was just uh, you know a couple of units. My general. I mean all the way up there I have these snipers going to set up. Uh, this now, uh, as soon as I've taken this right flank, it gives me the space I needed to pull all my guys forwards and uh, now I can come at them from two sides and what are they going to do about that? So I'll be able to snipe with them from this angle, like I did at the beginning, only now I've got three units of snipers which will do a lot more damage than just the one. I pull forwards my uh, elite infantry unit, this is going to take the centre stage right here, so it's going to stop my guys from being, uh, you know, exploited through the centre. <laughs> And uh, I've got my line of infantry unit and my last cavalry unit over here uh, running around. And, uh, this uh, line of infantry unit is basically going to hold this hill. So these guys are getting sniped right now. And that's a lot of dead from the first volley of three of my units. And there will be more. So right now my new line is set up over here of militia. And what he's done, which I don't like, is he set up the line of infantry to go against the weaker units, like the militia. Whereas it would be best off going against probably my uh, better units, but... At this stage I could basically see no hope for him winning at all. No matter what degree of uh, skill he could have possibly brought to the table. So now my guys are taking some shots. I'm killing off some of the wing tazars. And personally, if I was him, I'd have rushed them forwards and killed these uh, riflemen as much as I could. I was going to get my regiment of force around the back, and then these guys came out of hiding, this light infantry unit. So I'm now going to come and run over and run these guys down. And then I'll be that when them uh, finished off for the rest of the game. So it's uh, Wings of Zars again completely snipered. 
Oh, they're not lasting very long. I'm pushing forward this regiment of horse to go and attack this uh, rifleman unit. Riflemen are generally weak against uh, cavalry units. Um, my other cavalry unit I've got coming over to uh, take up the rear flank. So I've got them in reserve if I need them. So my guys have hacked apart this rifleman unit. And I'm now going to go and uh, <laughs> shot one of my own guys by my uh, with my cavalry. Shoot the cavs uh, shooting at that their cavalry. And uh, my militia is still shooting the hell out of these uh, line infantry units. And uh, here comes my regiment of horse. And uh, all this time over here, my uh, carabiners uh, shot these uh, hussars. And now the hussars are routing, and they're still getting shot. I mean, like one of the, once those hussars were routing, that was it, really. Easy win. So uh, I went for an all-out charge at the end to make it a little bit more fun. And then I brought forward this uh, elite infantry unit. I was just going to shoot into my guys and, and into theirs at the same time. So there was nothing left, basically, of the enemy. These guys all broke, and are now trying to retreat. That's the chaos that his uh, battle plan turned into, getting hunted down. So that's his name, uh, Dresden, Dresden, or however you want to call yourself. So I lost 427 guys and I killed 768. He lost 812 and killed 378. <laughs> See what we you know of mine got the best amount of kills. The lion infantry, oh militia. Yeah, one militia unit got 132 kills. Considering that they were mostly up against things like light infantry and uh, line infantry. That's actually some good statistics there for their unit type. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my show. And I uh, hope you guys tune in later to some of my later videos.